Hi guys, I'm Karina and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you three different DIY home decor IKEA hacks which are super easy to make. They're really really cute and they're very affordable as well. So I'll be converting a toilet cleaner and making that into a vase. Then I'll be upcycling a coaster and making it look really cute. And lastly I'll be converting a drawer liner and making that into a cushion cover. I really want to inspire you guys to recreate these projects because they're absolutely amazing. And if you like what you see today then make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel since I post two new videos every single week. Now without further ado, let's dive right into these projects. So I had purchased a toilet cleaner from IKEA six to seven months ago and the handle broke off so I had to buy a new one and this is exactly what my previous one looked like. So I threw the handle part away and I still have the base and I don't want to throw that away so I'm going to create a really cute vase out of that. I recently went to a thrift store and I got this bag of yarn just for $3 and this is what I'm going to use for the project. At first I'm going to measure the rim of the vase and I'll cut a yarn which is a few inches longer than that. Now I'll take two strings of yarn and loop it around the main one just like this. I'll repeat this process five more times so that I have six bunches of yarn hanging from the main string. Once I'm done with that, I'm just going to tie a knot and secure the yarn in place at the rim of the vase. And just to make sure that the yarn does not move around while we're working on this project, I'm just going to stick some tape which I'll remove later. Now split each section in half so that you get two strings from each side and tie a knot just like this. Now go around the vase and repeat the same steps to create the first knot. Just make sure that all the knots are at the same level and that they're not higher or lower than the previous knot. You literally just have to eyeball this so that you get a good diamond shape. And that's it, you're just going to keep repeating this till you run out of yarn or you reach the bottom of the vase. I was only three quarters of the way done when I ran out of yarn, but that's okay, I figured a way out to deal with this. So firstly, I'm just going to glue the main piece of yarn at the rim, and I should have just done this earlier, so if you guys are recreating this, I suggest that you just go ahead and glue the yarn at the rim instead of sticking tape. Once the glue dried off, I removed all the pieces of tape, and now my plan is to stretch all these pieces of yarn all the way to the base. In order to do that, I'm just going to wrap a few pieces of elastic rubber band across the vase and the main reason why I'm doing this is so that the yarn can stay in place and it's tightly pulled together and it doesn't move around while the glue is drying off. I promise you this will make sense once you see what I'm doing next. Now this last piece of elastic will make sure that the yarn does not move around while the glue dries off. So here it is, I'm just going to apply some glue at the edge and place the yarn on top of that and secure it in place. Now the main reason why we had used all these elastic rubber bands is just to make sure that the yarn does not get pulled upwards while the glue is still drying off. Once the glue has dried off completely, now it's time to remove all the elastic rubber bands and just cut off all the excess yarn that's going beyond the edge. Finally, I'm just going to apply some glue at the base of the vase and I'm just going to wrap some string around it. Now this will give the vase a very clean and finished look. And finally, I'll just apply some glue at the edge and wrap the final piece of string around it. And that's it, we're done. I still can't believe I turned this toilet cleaner into this beautiful vase. I absolutely love how this turned out. I got this 4 pack of cork coasters from IKEA just for $3. I'm going to start off by making dots at the edge of the coaster just 1 centimeter away from the edge and I'm going to keep a gap of a quarter inch between each point. I'm going to use a white embroidery yarn and a very thick needle to stitch the design on the coaster. Now poke the needle through the marking that we made earlier and you'll pull the yarn all the way through and keep going in a diagonal motion just like this. 
Now always remember that your needle will go through the coaster only from one side which will usually be the side that you've marked all the points on and that will be the back side of the coaster and also remember that the yarn goes diagonally so that it doesn't go straight to the edge that it goes between the two points that we had marked earlier just like this. Once you've reached the final marking, you will put your needle back through the first point where we had created the knot and now you'll work in the opposite direction. Once I'm done creating the outer border, now I'll move on to the center of the coaster and here I'll create 8 points 1.5 inch away from the center point. I'll bring the needle upwards from the edge of the coaster and then I'll bring it down from the middle. I'll keep repeating this for all 8 points. the smaller star in the middle I'm gonna mark eight points three quarters of an inch away from the center point and finally I'll make the star just like the previous one so I'll bring the needle up from the edge and I'll bring it down the middle point once I'm done stitching the pattern I'll make multiple knots so that the yarn does not get undone and I'll also apply some glue to secure it in place this coaster is actually worth less than a dollar, but it looks so high-end. I found this drawer liner at Ikea just for $2. I'm sorry I can't find a link to this online, but at the store this was for $2 and I absolutely love how this had a felt lining on one side. So I went ahead and measured 16 inches on one edge and I cut two pieces of square that are 16 inches wide from one mat. I'll flip one of the squares over just to make sure that the felt lining is on the outside. Now I'll poke my needle from one of the sides and bring it outwards just to make sure that the knot on the yarn remains on the inside of the cover. In order to stitch both the panels together, I'll make a blanket stitch on all the edges. A blanket stitch is super easy to make and it looks really good as well. So all you have to do is bring your needle from one side of the cover to the other side. Before you pull the yarn all the way to the edge, just bring your needle through the loop and then pull the yarn up vertically. At first, just make a blanket stitch on three sides and leave one side open so that we can put a cushion filler inside it. I had this queen size pillow that I was not using and I wanted to repurpose that and make it into a cushion filler. So I cut one side open and removed the cotton filling from that and I made a 16 by 16 inch square out of the fabric which I stitched together and I put the cotton filling back inside and that's it. I have a 16 by 16 inch cushion filler out of this pillow that I was not using. Now I'll place the cushion filler inside the cover that we're making and then once that's in properly, I can go ahead and stitch the fourth side. Now this is absolutely why I love doing the blanket stitch because you really can't tell which side the opening was. Once I've reached the final corner, I'll secure the yarn with a knot and that's it. I've made a really cute cushion cover from a drawer lining. So 
that's it for my DIY IKEA hacks video for you today. I absolutely loved all of these projects, but my favorite one were these coasters. They are so cute. And honestly, you can make them look prettier in so many different ways by using a different colored yarn. You can even use a different design. The possibilities are endless. But do let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section below. And if you do try to recreate any of these projects, make sure to tag me on Instagram because I would love to repost your creations. Have a wonderful rest of your day and you'll see me very soon in my next video. Bye!